Hello everyone, I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. And today we're going to tell you how we felt about War 4, the planet of the apes, the third in what I I guess right now is the epic trilogy of uh, new modern it's a saga. Planet of or the Apes a cycle. Movies. We don't use the word cycle anymore. I, I, I miss cycles. Yeah. It's a cycle. I wonder, though, if we're going to launch into what will look like a third trilogy, or if it will simply be the fourth chapter of this mm. moving forward. But anyway, uh, Eric recently got caught up on these. Uh, we, we did a Howie, or not a Howie, excuse me, we did a uh, He Made Me Watch on Dawn. Uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and uh, which I still think those titles should be switched, but, you know, whatever. And... Uh, yeah, but the opening text of this movie makes a really good case for it. It does. It, make, it makes a pretty good case. Oh, that was the most 70s thing uh, I've seen in a long time. Anyway, uh, this is the big epic war movie I would have expected, and it's, uh, as you might expect, about the uh, apes and the humans fighting for dominance and uh, the, the humans trying to figure out how in the world they're going to uh, continue to survive because uh, without giving anything away, there is... Something has we, we learned a little bit more about the virus that has that affected the humans and took a lot of them out and um, started to you know create a world where the apes uh, could you know continue and take over and I don't know about you but I thought that was a really interesting device in um, in, yeah. uh, in 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 fi in in figuring out a way to eventually get us to something that looks more like the planet of the apes mm -hmm. because unless we. For, unless we decided to go in a real different direction with this franchise, there are certain things that you expect to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, in in getting us to their version of the Planet of the Apes, At and you and I point, have though. had a lot of discussions about whether or not we we think they'll finally get us to that movie and their version of it. And after this, I think so, but I still think it's going to be a real slow burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might be another three movies, four movies, if not like nine movies. Yeah. It, yeah, it could be that many. Uh, if they stay, um, I don't, I don't know. If they, if they stay this, this thought provoking and this, this interesting, I would not mind being there um, for a long time. But I also think, I also think you could get tired of it. I also think there's, there's, there's the possibility that uh, if, if we, if we continue it at too slow a pace, we'll, we'll start to wish we could get them out faster. At the very mm. least, you know what I mean? Really, every two years, three years. Uh, I think three. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of CG rendering. They they might not be able to do it in two, but they need they need that third year for to render all the CGI. Yeah, that is how well we've managed to make these these apes look real is just us now. Oh, there's a point where you get frozen hair. Yeah, and it looks amazing. Yeah, and very rarely do, do the apes, in my opinion, ever even look like a CG effect. I mean, it always feels like they're actually really there on the I screen. Agree. And the last movie got real close to that, but this is just a technical marvel. I agree. It, it looks amazing. Let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? Eric, uh, how did you feel about the uh, about the new Planet of the Apes film? War felt, 4, the Planet of the Apes. Felt, third movies are hard. Oh, really? Okay. I didn't love this movie. Really? I really right. didn't. Okay. Um, I was kind of bored. Uh, wow. For parts of it. I. It felt very... It's a real bleak film. It is bleak, but it felt... I didn't feel like this introduced any or a lot of new, interesting, like, ideological conflicts. I felt like this was a lot of the same flash. I mean, movie. there's one. I don't think the Colonel is nearly as interesting as I think they think he is. Okay. Um... I mean, I'm not saying there's. I'm not saying there's a bad movie. He's talking about Woody Harrelson's character. Yeah. What, one thing that hurt it, I think, if you look at previews, and I don't mean to talk too much about trailers. They really build him up. Not just in the that, movie. Not yeah, but uh, in in the trailer, you get too much of what is interesting about uh, about. You get too much of his speech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and kind of his flaws. It kind of feels like nearly every line of dialogue he has is in the trailer. I mean, I should mention, I don't know how you feel about this, but this is a real action-driven film. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean it's a it's a it's an it's a big action movie beyond you know, the the you know, the the war scenes, mm -hmm. but it's but it's driven by what people are doing as opposed to words there. So and I speaking. wanted a little bit more of that discussion. I think the last movie was able to balance that really well. 
I think this went a little bit too far away from the kind of ideological discussion and themes. I think it's trying to move tonally anyway, and there's certainly a discussion to be had there, as, as you say, as to whether or not we pushed those the envelope of those of, of those ideas far enough mm. with this film. But it's, um, but I think, but I think tonally, it's working really hard to bring us closer to the feel of the original Planet of the Apes. Maybe it, and, this, and, and I mean, it's paced like that film. Yeah, it feels like more Dawn. Um, like, like that. That's my biggest thing is I don't think this is as good as as good as Dawn. Um, it feels. I also don't feel like it moves us forward far enough. Um, with the exception of uh, something that happens at the end, which I don't think this movie actually earns. Really, I think this movie would almost be completely skippable, skippable to get to the next one. I like when you when you get to the end of Dawn, things are completely different. I don't feel like that at the end of this movie. I don't either. I'm not going to agree with you that what you're talking about is not earned. Okay. Uh, I think we could have a we, we could have a real lively argument about that. Okay. But I do agree with you that I was left wanting, and not in oh boy, I love this. I wish we could get the next one right away. But in you guys didn't go far enough. Mm -hmm. I don't think enough changed. I don't think enough was done. And there was an idea I had about halfway through that I thought they were going, and then they didn't go. I was like. Oh well, that's what this movie should have been. I like that would have been really cool. Okay. Um. So I I don't know. I um. I I thought it was all right. Like it's I, I like I would like it's it's a, it's a well made film. Um. It's not a bad movie, but I thought it was kind of slow, and and there were points where I was having trouble just caring. Wow. Um. I I, I just I, I I I if I hadn't seen Dawn, I probably would have liked it more. But it's. It's more. I feel. I. It felt more of the same, but not as good. I really like Caesar's plight a lot. Um, I like his internal conflict. I like mm -hmm. that he's fighting really hard not to turn into what Kobo was last movie, and I think that's handled really well. I think he's consistently characterized, and then that then this is the clear place for him to go after this. I like how close he gets to revenge. I think that works mm -hmm. pretty well. But I'm with you. I don't know. I don't know that the. Sometimes the slow pacing seems to be an asset, and sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, like, it, it feels like it's tipped a little bit too much that way. I, like, Is in, it taking itself too serious? I don't even think that's the way to put it, really. I don't think that it's taking itself too seriously. That, that Dante take it, took itself just as seriously, really. Um, they just, in the previous movie, they just had a better balancing act for, like, ideas and actions. And I feel like this is a little bit tilted too much towards actions. I don't know. I I wanted a little bit more actual like intellectual substance other than just things happening. Yeah, cuz the the big the big, you know, philosophical ideological question is whether or not what's happening is like nature punishing humanity. Where mm -hmm. like we made we made a big mistake. We basically destroyed ourselves and maybe um the the, the apes taking over as the dominant species, as the superior species as the planet is, of apes. Yeah, is kind of is kind of what we deserve and in what we should happen is the most natural thing that could possibly happen out of a really unnatural, you know, science experiment that led to this in the first place. But that question has been there. Mm-hmm Certainly, and so I agree and with I you that I don't know that, that we pushed it far enough. Interesting. That's not about human condition. That's not about um, like I, I'm I'm I I would be more interested in something that's about atonement for what we did and feeling responsible as opposed to is, is the world punishing us? Yeah. Who cares? Like that doesn't matter to me. Like I, that doesn't. I didn't think that was that interesting. I, like, I, and I'm also not a man well, versus nature guy. Well, what what is? It? Yeah, yeah, I know that about you, and I and I can be a case by case. It depends mm -hmm. on what it is. Um, I think that that works a little bit better than you do. I, I think there I think there is a human condition question in whether or not I, uh, you know, humanity with the kernel as its um, kind of uh, stand in here. You know, you know, is is a like 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 a. Who who were who were mostly looking at uh, as like what this could you know do to a person um, is like like is he still human is uh, uh, has he managed to hang on to, and, and has human humanity I guess in general managed to hang on to what it is that makes them human mm -hmm. uh, and that works okay but my, you know honestly uh, my biggest issue is. And I think this is kind of related to what we're saying, or to what you're saying about how maybe we just didn't, we just didn't go far enough mm -hmm. uh, with with uh, with ideas. And we, when when you're talking about the, 
the idea that when you get to the end of the movie, it's almost skippable except for the big important thing that happens. Mm. Uh, it's it isn't really the title. No, no, not any more than the last one was. I feel like war could have applied to Dawn just as much as it applies to this. It yeah. is not the war between humans and apes that you were promised. Um, it seems like it's just going to be more of the same next movie, possibly. Yeah. Just more skirmishes. This is a skirmish before it's a war. This should have been, with that title... At the end of this, this I, mean, I know with my been... synopsis, I said you know the, the, the humans versus the apes, and it is that, of course. Mm. But it's but it's a skirmish before, it's, and it's and it's outliers. It's not the main human army. It, it it feels like with the title, when you get to the end of the movie, there should be a decided victor, right? And precisely, there isn't. It, it doesn't really feel like not that. really. Yeah. So uh, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a real slight not feeling it. Wow. Not really? to say it's a okay. bad film. Um, this is not a. But you're just kind of disappointed. Yeah, it, I just I'm not super feeling. It. I'm not saying don't see it. I think it's a really well made movie. I think it's a really well acted movie. I think it's mostly well written. I just I don't know. I just didn't think it was as good as the last one. Yeah, it's not. That's certainly not enough to make me to flip my sign though. Well, I mean, and and I, I was I was a little bored during it. I mean, you you weren't, but I. Th there were there were a number of points where I'm like, okay, get on with it. So I don't know. I thought I thought it was all right. Yeah, I mean, I like, I, I really like that kind of relentless, bleak feeling that you get through it. I mean, I, 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 I like the, the, the tone um, of the film and the, and the universe. I, I liked it in the last one, too. I like that real... But I don't think it's exactly what we had the last movie. I mean, I do think that this does separate itself. It's a little well bit more enough. hopeless. Um, and I don't mind that. I just, I didn't feel like I got enough. Yeah. I just didn't feel like a... A whole movie to me in, in certain ways, like it, it felt padded. It, it I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would go quite that far. I just think that the title promised us the title and the and, and the advertising in the three years we had to wait. This that, feels like this feels like more. Not the next. This doesn't feel like the next chapter to me. This feels like more of what we did last movie. Yeah, so it, I don't know. I was I was hoping that. It would be a big status quo shift. And the world like, hasn't changed was. as much in between films, although I don't know that it possibly could. No, no, and I wasn't expecting it to be as radically different as Dawn is from Rise, but I didn't feel like enough was different. It didn't feel distinct enough as a piece uh, from the previous one. For the sake of symmetry, you almost wish that, that all three movies could almost fit in different genres in a way. Mm -hmm. But it's understandable that we can't quite do that. Yeah, the last yeah. movie was also somewhat of a war movie, certainly. Yeah. If you, well, if you, if you wanted, if you wanted the movie to be, um, I don't know, maybe don't well, have humans, I just have apes, apes fighting the environment. I don't know. Well, just, I say last something. movie was a war movie. Last movie is is certainly you know a movie about building civilization and uh, having to and trying to stop a war from preventing your civilization from getting started. So I mean, mm. it's it's more about the um about the heavy crown that the king has to wear and about leadership and about the uh, the politics of that. And I wanted more of that stuff. In yeah, this movie, I wanted more but, of the politics of it. But, that, but that's the thing is that is that when it's a war movie, you, you can you can have war politics. Mm -hmm. It would be it would be a, di a different kind of dynamic from what you had last movie. Um, this feels the need in. I, I I think it struggles a little bit in trying to make sure that it's uh, intimate enough mm -hmm. and personal enough for Caesar. Mm -hmm. So it has to be a situation where he runs off on his own rather than taking an army into battle, which is what I kind of thought we were going to come into. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean to say... And I mean, I liked it more than Eric yeah. did. A lot. Uh, but, but I... And so I don't mean to say that like it's not good or I'm super disappointed because it wasn't exactly what I what I wanted, but it's not. But I, I do feel like it's somewhat not what I was promised, mm. and so that does that does hurt it a little bit. Uh, I think this is labeled to be a better movie looking at it in the sequence, depending on what we get after it. Yeah, that's possible, and you know I'm always impatient with that kind of stuff. Yeah. So anyway, uh, well, this movie, I, I was real conflicted. I mean, this movie made me feel uh, first immersed, then astounded, then depressed and stunned, but longing for more. And longing for more is the big, is the sure. is the big thing. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of better a, as like a couple episode of television. Yeah. Than it is as the next big. And that's the thing is that it it feels like an epic. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And while I'm watching it, that really works. But yeah, I was, I was a little bummed that there wasn't more of, of, of some kind of like a, 
more of a feeling of 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 um of finality at the end. We're like this is this is a solid end of this chapter, mm-hmm. and uh, now we're moving on to a new dawn. Not that dawn, but you know the it, new dawn of the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> it's a new day in the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like I said, the the it, it, it is a marvelous technical achievement. Actually. Absolutely, um, I think here uh, uh, Woody Harrelson does do a really good job. I mean, I think he does a good job. I just don't think his character is as interesting as I think they think his character is. Yeah, that's my big thing. Like when I finally get his philosophy, I'm like, okay, sure. I don't know. I I wasn't really taken yeah. in by him, and I'm I'm way too for like. But I, I mean, he's a but I mean he's a monster, and he's supposed to be kind of a kind of a mirror for Caesar. I mean, he's he, in some ways he's he's easily what Caesar could turn into, and of course Caesar's a guy, a, an ape, but a guy mm. who who I uh, who really wanted to at one time figure out a way to coexist with the humans, and that's that's looking increasingly impossible and unlikely, and now it's very much a us versus them. But once kind of again, place that it he's, feels that he's stuck like. In. Because this is what we've done across all three films now. Yeah, it feels like it's a very specific situation. It's there's always the one bad guy that causes it. Yeah, like this doesn't feel like Caesar realizing we can't get along with humans. It's well, this crazy person we can't get along with him. Yeah, I know because he's a crazy person. I, I don't. Well, yeah, but I'm not with you there because he's still gonna have to fight off the rest of the humans. Yeah, you know, I mean, they 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 still are gonna are gonna show up and make life impossible for him and it's not just the crazy guy he's dealing with at the beginning of the film that get, that kind of gets the ball rolling mm-hmm. uh, I mean he he is he is certainly the impetus for the whole thing mm-hmm. uh, but I also think that the I just wish maybe we had seen more of what the other people are like because I think the idea is I uh, it's it's really easy to get driven to that to that place. I also like that although he, I mean, as I said earlier, maybe I'm wrong about that. He is certainly an outlier. Mm. I mean, I uh, uh, the the rest of the uh, the human armies are like, yeah, we can't we can't deal with this guy. Yeah, he's almost it's it, it's weird. He's almost anti science um, because of the virus. Yes, yeah, that's true. Um, but kind of only in medical sciences. He still uses lots of guns and stuff. He's not going back to like swords and sticks and stones. Yeah, or I not get, or, or riding horses instead of cars. Like, I guess he reminds me of, of a little bit of like Striker or somebody. Yeah, he's got some Striker in him. I uh, I mean, you're right. There is some kind of been here, done that with I him. Just, he didn't. He didn't grab me. And I like Woody Harrelson. I, I don't know. M- maybe I'm too familiar with Woody Harrelson. Where like he shows up and I'm like, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> you're Defendor. I can't. I can't be angry. You Defendor. Uh, how did you feel about the way levity was handled in this movie? Because it's real Shakespearean, right? We have the comic relief character. Y- yeah, and then that's and that's pretty much what we have. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are more subtle moments of levity where we're just allowing people's humanity to shine. But mm-hmm. for the most part, it's when you go back to that guy, you know it's going to be a funny scene. And I don't know if you if you caught this or if you agree with this, but I felt like uh, our audience was like. I uh, w- w- was like desperate to laugh. No, because every time he did anything, they laughed at, a lot. at all. Yeah. yeah, they were just they were desperate for some sort of levity. Yeah, and so y- you can argue that it's necessary because of that. But it starts to feel I don't I don't know I don't I don't know if, if I don't know if I want to say it's forced, but it just gets routine. Yeah, uh, but I mean that is the function of the comic relief character. No, that's yeah, that's true. Um, is to is is to release some tension for the audience. Um, I, I don't feel like he's necessary, but I, I know why he's there. Um, I think he serves the purpose. I, I'm never irritated when he's on screen. Yeah. I, I think he's, he's fun, and, and, you know, I chuckled. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, like I said, cl- clearly I, I like this movie more than... War Garrett for the Planet of the Apes. I chuckled. <laughs> I want to... Um, I, I, w- I want to I noodle the ideological and, ph- and philosophical stuff a little bit more. I felt like I was always with Caesar... And well, like, I'm never like, on the like, like I said, appreciate. But what I'm saying is, I, I, I felt like I, I always appreciated his plight, and I never feel I, I never felt like um, he he lost me in what in, in what he was doing and in in feeling. And when he starts to get, you know, closer to going past, you know, the point of no return, uh, I totally get that, and I and, and he remains sympathetic. Um, I like that all the bad uh, that a lot of the bad things that happen to him are uh, because of, of choices he makes mm-hmm. I mean he kind of lets his, himself go and stops being you know the, the leader he he was before mm-hmm. yeah I was I was actually disappointed by that 
Really? I, I like him as the leader. Well, I do too. He, he, like, I, I get that it's very human or ape, but he's so confident and so assured in the in the previous movie, it felt a little weird that he, he all of a sudden... Because they were dealing with human stuff in the last but movie. But we talked about... When we did our video on that, about how he maybe crosses a line a little bit with what he with how he handles Koba, and but it doesn't feel like he's this is him informed by that decision and changed. It feels like at the beginning he's still supposed to be who he was. And then he I don't finds out that agree with that at okay. all. I think he's okay. entirely informed by by that decision. Okay. Uh, which I can't really talk about without giving away too much sure. about the film itself, but. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. The film we got is, I think, quite good, and uh, and but I, it might I just, just be not the film that I wanted, and I yeah, and I have that wasn't. Uh, I certainly have that too. Given a fair enough shake, but yeah, I mean, I didn't dislike the movie. I, I'm not disappointed. I went. I I, I liked it. Okay, yeah. I thought it was an all right movie. I just didn't think it was as strong as the last one, and it didn't carry things forward as much as I wanted. Well, folks, uh, let us know what you thought of this movie. Leave your comments. And in the meantime, we will see you with more videos uh, here starting on Monday on Geek Pollution. I am Captain Logan. And I'm Eric. See you, folks.